like and subscribe. When getting to know a girl, what's the biggest red flag you ignored because she was attractive? While finally having a deep conversation as friends, I have a tendency to use people. My brain operating at two. One watts, asterisk THAT apostrophe S. So sad for her that she has a tendency to do that. Thank God she admitted it to you because she trusts you, so you're in the clear. I have a lifelong habit of being blind to the same dang red flag. I go for women that move alarmingly quickly towards a relationship. I suppose I'm blinded by the wonderful feeling of someone being interested in me. I've learned the hard way that if they don't take the time to really get to know you, then it's not asterisk asterisk why are you asterisk asterisk that they're interested in. It's being in a relationship. And if you let it happen, and don't get to really know them, you might miss a red flag or 12. Edit, wow. This blew up. A fair few folks are raising an excellent point, that shouldn't be ignored or downvoted. But to provide clarity, my particular issue isn't that I seek, or want relationships or love. My issue is, that I'm terrible at setting and maintaining personal boundaries. Even if I'm just after a friendship, if they start expressing interest I have a hard time saying no. This is something I'm actively working on in therapy with a professional. A lot of men have issues with boundaries and the first step is to realize that it is an issue, it's our issue, and it's our job to fix it. And we can. Sometimes you just need a little help. Her mom straight told me she's super manipulative. Edit we are engaged with three kids and that was four years ago lol. If she left some dude for you, she will leave you for some dude. Edit, thanks for the awards. The amount of people, specifically men, who can relate is worrying, and some people say it is not always like this and that is true, not 100% of the time, but it is something that happens a lot, just look through the comments of people replying. We were in college, and I was broke as can be. In our first conversation she wanted to go on a 1500 mile trip together to see a bow game. When I told her there was no way I could afford it, she asked you don't have a savings account? Um feo, yes but that's for emergencies, not trips with a college fling. That's a girl who never had to pay her own way. My parents sent me to reform school. I totally deserved it. My best friend just dumped me, because she says I'm a terrible person. Oh, by the way, my husband who I told you I was divorced from. We are still married, and I'm cheating on him with you. I was a complete <laughs> I'm an idiot. She was a Scientologist. Edit, well that took off. Lying, when I was talking to this girl I'm pretty sure I caught her making up insanely trivial and pointless lies to either impress me, or simply out of impulse. Completely ignored that, and how she just seemed to have everyone in her life up until now shut out. We started dating, and then I met her parents who were not the deranged people she made them out to be, then I met her friends who didn't seem like the bad influences she made them out to be, then finally when she truly snapped, and went insane on me, we were cowalkers backslash underscore backslash underscore backslash underscore she got me fired, and then told my old manager that I threatened her and was trying to hurt her. Not knowing this, I walk into the restaurant to order food, like I had been for years, and the GM is following me through the line acting weird, and it wasn't until I texted a friend working there, that I found out. All this and the insanely upsetting heartbreak would have been avoided, had I just noticed she was lying from the beginning, and not thinking with my head and instead used my head. Late to our first hangout, and she wasn't listening very well. Those kind of things tell me she isn't going to take you very serious as a person let alone a so. Lying. She lied about everything. Seeing guys behind my back, saying she'll seek help about her alcoholism and drug abuse but really wasn't, then she even dated my best friend, and lied about it. So, yeah. Lying was something I overlooked for a beautiful girl. Yikes. Having stories about most people in her past who screwed her over, or treated her badly. Turns out she was probably the one causing a lot of the issues herself. 
she shares the relationship problem to the public media, like we're wanting some problem solver, therapist, or something. That she she sent her last two boyfriends to jail. The fact that most things were one-sided, and getting guilt tripped when pointing it out. This ranged from intimacy to opening up emotionally. At one point I tried to talk to her about my persistent depression, that I have been dealing with for years, but somehow she made it about her, and how it made her feel bad. Many other cases, but you know what they say about love being blind, right? At least this one was an eye opener. I'm not a nice girl. I have broken many hearts. Or, you are just saying that. You are so innocent. She was not just saying that. In fact, I was dumb enough to fall for that line with multiple women. Edit, a word. You know the way insects tell other insects and animals they are poisonous, by having telltale signs like bright coloring and patterns, yea humans do that vocally, but we never listen lol. When her papa says good luck, and makes sure you know about her massive financial debt, no not from school. Not me but someone I know. And yikes I give it 2 years to divorce starting soon. I have always said, if she'll cheat with you, she'll cheat on you. I think that's a good parallel. Hash B-R-U-H Dude, it is such a bummer. I went on 4 dates with this amazing girl, who I am still friends with today. Eventually she tells me she is gay, but thinks God doesn't approve of same sex relationships. Was really tough for me to console her, and tell her that her life I snowed depraved in the same moment all my hope is thrown out the window. Edit, a typo. I mean, when you have, so many actual movies and books that have that exact story, bad person falls for nice guy slash girl, and finally sees the error of their ways it's not surprising that people fall for that in real life. He slash she was broken before, but asterisk I asterisk can help the meal. Plot escalation. Babies make everything better. Hint. They don't. Edit. 2 PPL wasted their money on Reddit. Go donate to wiki or something. Just do something better with your money, jeez.